Hey everybody, it's Pastor Daniel, and today is day 37 of our 40, let's call it 42 days of purpose, <laughs> and today's special guest is Nathan. How's it going, Nathan? I am doing well. How about yourself? I am doing well also. I planted a garden two days ago, and yesterday I built a TV stand. Ah, oh, nice. I went and yeah. bought stuff from Home Depot and made it out of scratch, so it was, it was cool. I feel very manly, and you're doing the yard work today, right? Yeah, I did some yard work and also going to be planting a garden. And yeah, it feels good to get your hands dirty and, you know. Yep. Take that quarantine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool, man. Time. Yep, exactly. Time to get outside. Let's look at today's lesson. It talked about uh, everyone uh, or one of our purposes to share the good news. And specifically today, it talked about sharing your life message. And I liked how he said, you know, your life message is this, you know, basically four different categories. It's your, your testimony, kind of how you came to Christ life lessons, what God's taught you mm -hmm. uh, in, in your life. There's also godly passions where God gives us passions to do things. And then there's the good news that we would share too, the story of salvation in Christ. So as you, you know, read through it today, how did, you know, what did God speak to you through this? Yeah, I think um, one of the things I appreciated is he kind of painted this um, or, or the way that he framed this idea of sharing your life message as being more all encompassing. I think in the past, like growing up in the church, I, whenever I thought about the idea of like sharing my testimony, I always, I wasn't quite good at it and felt like, well, my story is not that exciting. You know, if you think about certain stories like um, John Newton, the guy that wrote Amazing Grace, you know, he was a slave trader and then God transformed yeah. his life and then he became an abolitionist. And it's like, that's an impressive story. But in my case, it's like, I grew up going to church and continue to go to church. And, but I think when I, uh, when I think about what was said in, in this passage about how it's, it includes your testimony, yes, but also all the ways that God has worked in your life, sure. all the passions that God has given you, you know, the, the gospel itself. And so when I look at my life as a whole, certainly there's a story of how God has worked and how God has shaped me and worked in my life. And that's something I can share. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. A lot of times I feel like my testimony is not that great either because when I came to faith, I was in third grade and, and I wasn't dealing crack or anything crazy <laughs> at the time. No. And so uh, there wasn't this hard transition or, or huge yeah. transition. So um, so it's really good for us to, to realize that when we feel like our testimony or our message of our life isn't important, that's not true. It is. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it is good because my testimony of coming to Christ, you know, it, it taught me a few things. It taught me that even the times when I were, I was unfaithful, God was still faithful to me and also got me out of making a lot of bad choices where I could have. And so those are things yeah. worth celebrating. Mm -hmm. you know, I could have been doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. So what do yeah. you think, you know, kind of an impact this is going to have on you? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about like, how do I apply this? And I think, um, one was just being prepared for these opportunities. And one of the things that the book mentioned was like um, making a list of the problems, specific problems and challenges that God has helped you face mm -hmm. and lessons that God has taught and taught you. So like I said, certainly God has um, worked at my, in my life in different ways. I know that there have been times that have been difficult and I feel like you know, my faith has, has, um, or, you know, God has comforted me yeah. in those times, times where I've really been struggling and, you know, the, the gospel brings me hope. Um, so I think just reflect on those specific examples, maybe make a list of, so that I'm prepared to yeah. share. That's good. I think it's important for us to take time to do that, to consider what's mm -hmm. happened, to think it through, write it down, and even think through the implications of how God was faithful and the lessons we taught, because, when we share it, we can also help others who are struggling go through that, that process of finding peace in the middle of a storm. So uh, that's good. And it just takes some time to, to do that. Um, yeah. Hey, give us a closing encouraging word here at the end. Yeah, I think just my encouragement, like we've been talking about, is that everybody has a unique story. And I think looking back at all of this 40 Days of Purpose, there have been some chapters, too, where it's talked about life difficulties and how you know God um, uses all those things and he's given us abilities he's given us specific yeah. challenges that we've overcome and experiences so I think everybody has a unique story and you know 
basically you're the, the only one who can share that unique story. Amen. And that's a great way to close. We're out of time. And uh, I want to remind everyone too, you are the, the authority of telling your life message, your, your life's message of how God has ministered to your heart. And people love to hear your stories. Uh, and so let's remember that, that uh, our stories are unique and um, we are to glorify God with those. So let's be ready to share our life message with other people. Hey, Nathan, thank you so much for being here today. That was wonderful. Yeah. It was great to see you. Yeah. I'm actually going to go back outside and get some more sunshine. Yeah, maybe I will too. All, All right. right. For everybody else, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.